What's up everybody? You got the Raz man coming at you here with another video. It's time for this week's FK Vlogs Ask Today on the Raz Man's Reality. That's right, it's FK Vlogs Ask on a Wednesday. How in the world did this thing get from Friday to Wednesday this week and there was none last Friday and all of that mess? Simple. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I reviewed non-spoiler wise the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 and because I'm adding more overlay to be more visually appealing to all of you and make the video shorter overall I got my schedule all thrown off because rendering takes me forever due to the age of my computer that's why I'm doing the Patreon campaign and that's why I have a separate savings account going on from everything else to try and get a new computer to fix that problem but yeah everything just got thrown off this week so what we're going to do is we're going to change the schedule up a bit more this week Friday is no longer going to be the spoiler review of Mockingjay Part 1 that's going to be Monday because Friday I got tagged again there's another movie tag going on, and Frankie, you, you were tagged in that tag, so make sure you check it out, and everybody else check it out too, because it's an awesome, awesome tag. So, that's Friday. Spoiler review for Marking J Part 1 on Monday, and back to Netflix Pick of the Week, and on the sorry back to Netflix pick of the week on Wednesday so Netflix pick of the week returns next week and then Friday we will do FK vlogs ask like normal so we may have two weeks worth of FK vlogs ask to cover on Friday because this is last week F, last week's questions so all that being said first question this week was about interactive books and for any of you who are coming over due to Frankie's awesomely nice shout out that she did about this series and you don't know that's not just her thumbnail there that is an annotation where you can go directly to the video if you missed it or you want to remind yourself of it and of course subscribe to Frankie if for some strange reason you're subscribed to me and not her you can also do it while you're there checking out her videos so yeah first question is on interactive books because she read a book where someone did an ebook and they actually had a website up where they you could explore different parts of the book and all these other great things that you could do while you're reading and she wanted to know if we e-read it all and do we like the idea of interactive books and do we think that this is the direction that e-reading might be going in I certainly hope that it's the direction e-reading is going in because like you Frankie I'm old school same way as I am as a film collector I like physically holding things I like the convenience of electronic things don't get me wrong but I don't want to see everything go that way so I don't actually own an e-reader I do own an Android tablet but the screen's really small and I don't like using it or my phone for reading so if something like this were to happen with interactive books it would definitely entice me to go that route because people say oh books are so much cheaper they're right there in your pocket yeah all that's true but it's still not enough to entice me to go that route so if books become interactive going that way going through that way 
then yeah, I would go that way too. So, yeah, I think it's an amazing idea. You definitely made me want to read the book that you're reading, and I hope that's the way it goes in the future. So, interactive books. Let's hope for them. Next up was watching variety and how do we as film and television watchers watch our stuff and what is the one thing that we want to watch more of well for me I watch a variety of things but it's mostly the same variety if that makes sense I watch a lot of sci-fi I watch a lot of epic fantasy and I watch a lot of superhero stuff and I watch a lot of comedy so the thing that I would like to be able to watch more of and get into more of is just the classic films because I do have certain classic films that I watch all the time but I there's so many films from like just like you said from Frankie from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s that I haven't seen or haven't seen in ages so I would like to get into more of that I would like to get into also more of the independent films and the Criterion films because there's so many great film YouTubers that talk about those kind of films and I love watching their videos but I have nothing to say about them so yeah Criterions and Classics would definitely be my way of expanding my horizons and try to get into more things to view. So my question for this week sort of spurred from the watching variety video and that's how usually how my questions come about is Frankie says something and then I say oh well I can tie something into that. So my question is what is the one area about yourself as a person that you would like to change up and fix kind of like an early New Year's resolution type of thing for me my big thing is I have a smart TV now so I always 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 forget to like and comment on the people that I'm subscribed to I if I'm subscribed to you that is my stamp of approval to you and I guarantee you that I watch every single thing that you do but I always forget now to like and comment because I watch it on the TV and I forget to open the computer up or open the mobile up the good news is I did figure out mobile I did figure out phones you just you can't do it through the YouTube app on your phone if you want to comment. You have to use m.youtube.com. And when you use m.youtube.com, it's the same way for tablets, by the way. So when you use m.youtube.com, you go to the video that you're watching and you just take your finger and you go up like this and you scroll up and you go to the bottom of the screen and you'll see comments then you click on the comment arrow and there you have the ability to leave comments and you can even reply to comments as the video creator yourself so that's how you get around that and that is what I'm doing to try to get better at it if I'm not able to be around the computer or I don't want to use the computer keyboard because I like using Google Voice which is so much more quick and so much more accurate I will use m.youtube.com but that is my goal instead of just two or three people Frankie, Zarin Isaac, and Blind Jimmy Jefferson that I comment on their stuff all the time because I like talking to them so much I am making a goal for myself of getting better at commenting on everyone's videos now. So, yeah, tell me what is the thing about yourself, either as a film watcher, a book reader, or just in general, that you would like 
to improve and make better about yourself. Do it in a video response and link me to the video. Or if I'm subscribed to you, of course, I will see it. Or let me know in the comment box down below. I hope, as always, that you enjoyed this week's FK Vlogs Ask. Please subscribe if you're new here and you like what you saw here today because I would love to see you again. And as always, this is reality according to the Razman and Razman style. It's not just a catchphrase, but a way of life.